This video is to show you how to operate and calibrate this machine. Part 1. Preparation before starting. Connect oxygen and air gas supply tubes to anesthesia machine. Connect driving gas tube. Using the tube, connect breathing circuit with bellow. Install vaporizer and block it. Make sure that vaporizers are installed correctly and that rotation is smooth. Connect all pipelines to the gas sources and observe the pressure gauges. Make sure that the pressure is in acceptable limits between 280 and 600 kilopascals. Part 2. Operation. Turn on the machine. After turning on the machine, we can perform system self-test. Press continue to go to automatic test page. Please follow the instructions displayed on the screen. Step 1. Connect the Y-piece to the test port. Step 2. Adjust APL valve to 30 cm H2O. Step 3. Install the manual bag. Step 4. Set the all flow meters to 0 liters per minute. Step 5. Push O2 flush button to fill the bellows. Press continue and wait for about 30 seconds until automatic test succeed is displayed on the screen. Press continue to go to manual test. Follow instructions displayed on the screen and push O2 flush button to maintain pressure between 20 and 40 cm H2O. After the manual test is passed, the machine will go to the standby mode. Touch here and use navigator knob to change the patient type. Press to confirm. Touch here to choose ventilation mode and let's choose IPPV. This part will show you how to set the ventilation parameters. Touch here to change to another ventilation mode. To confirm, touch again or use navigator knob. This part is to show you how to check the tidal volume accuracy. In child mode for tidal volume range from 20 to 100 milliliters, Error is plus minus 20 milliliters. For adult patient type and for the tidal volume range between 100 and 1500 milliliters, error is plus minus 
Now we will demonstrate to you for adult patient type and the tidal volume of 500 milliliters. We will set breathing frequency to 12 and inspiration expiration ratio 1 to 2. Comparing the set tidal volume and actual tidal volume, we can see that this value is between 400 and 600 milliliters, which is inside the error range. If the tidal volume is out of the range, it is necessary to perform calibration of the flow sensor. In the later parts, we will demonstrate how to do it. Please, for the different values of tidal volume, check the accuracy. We suggest you to try for 300 milliliters, 500 milliliters and 700 milliliters. Part 3 – Function Introduction and Calibration This is our alarm option. In the settings, we can change alarms for ventilation parameters, for gas parameters and also for agent parameters. Apart from that, we can change the alarm sound volume and in the log part, we can log all the alarms that occur during the time. Press clear in order to clear the log. This is the system settings. Here we can change the monitoring parameters. In order to change, press change. Press here to change the language. When Decide, press done. Oxygen sensor function needs to be activated in advance. This is the demo mode. To enter the demo mode, enter the password 2020 and press done to confirm it. Then enable it or disable it. Touch here to edit time. Press here to change trigger type. You can choose between pressure trigger or flow trigger. Press here to check real-time ventilation monitoring parameters. Here you can access the gas module options. Press here to change day format or time format. These are calibration options. In order to calibrate O2 sensor, it has to be activated. To calibrate CO2 sensor, it also needs to be activated. Press here to perform leak test. Please follow the instructions on the screen. First, connect the Y piece to the test port. Second, set all flow meters to 0 liter per minute. Third, push O2 flush button to fill the bellows. Press start. 
when leak test succeed is displayed, calibration is finished. Touch here for compliance test. First, connect the Y piece to the test port. Second, set the flow meters to 0 liters per minute. Third, push O2 flush button to fill the bellows. Press start. Done. Press here to enter the touch screen calibration. Press start to start the calibration. Press on the points on the screen to perform the calibration. Done. This is the service tab. To get access, you need to enter password. Password is 2010. Press done to confirm it. Enter the service calibration and between pressure sensor, flow sensor or inspiratory valve, choose pressure sensor. For pressure sensor calibration, follow the instructions displayed on the screen. First, Disconnect any hoses from the inspiratory and expiratory ports. Set all flow meters to 0 liters per minute. Press start. Succeed. In flow sensor calibration, we can choose to calibrate inspiratory flow sensor and expiratory flow sensor. To calibrate inspiratory flow sensor, follow the instruction on the screen. Here we can see steps 4 and 5, and here it's displayed how the calibration tools are connected. This is throttle valve. And this is VT monitor. These are steps 1, 2 and 3, so make sure to remove discs, turn off the flow meters and plug the expiratory port. Using the throttle valve and VT monitor, set the flow meter according to the data displayed on the screen. Once when the value displayed on the VT monitor is the same as the value displayed on the screen, press done. Then repeat the procedure for the next value. Until 30 liters per minute is reached. About following 3 minutes, the video is showing calibration for the different values from 0 to 30 liters per minute. If you understand the procedure, you can feel free to skip this part.
expiratory flow sensor calibration. So this is step four, and here we can see how the calibration tools are connected. This is a throttle valve. And this is the VT monitor. Please be aware that this calibration is different than calibration of the inspiratory flow sensor. Make sure to remove discs, turn all flow meters and plug the inspiratory ports. Except the tube connection, this part of calibration is identical to the inspiratory flow sensor calibration. Calibration done. Press here for inspiratory valve calibration. Step 1. Remove inspiratory and expiratory valve discs. Step 2. Set all flow meters to 0 liter per minute. Step 3. Disconnect any hoses from inspiratory port and make sure to plug the expiratory port. Step 4. Remove bellows and restore the cover. Press start. Succeed. Press here to change the gas standard. Press here to add language with the code supplied from EonMed. Press here to add optional functions such as oxygen sensor and gas module. Code is supplied from EonMed. Press assist to get more information about sensor valve and calibration valve. Here we can see sensor data. And here we can see calibration data. Press here for software version information. In case of problem with machine, supply us with serial number and software version information. Press here to see a leak test result. And this is load default data page. Press here to enter the loops. We can also change the different loops. Press normal to go back to default screen.